the person that caused my my accident destroyed my life completely. The face of a Texas Department of Transportation campaign warning of the dangers of drinking and driving has passed away. Sources say she lost her battle with cancer. The woman was just 20 years old when her story of survival went global. The goal highlight the fact that not everyone involved in drunk driving crashes dies. As KXA investigator Brittany Glass explains, her story was just one of many that have led to a crackdown in dangerous and sometimes fatal crashes in Travis County. This is me when my life was just like anyone else in college. This is me after being hit by a drunk driver. The crash that defined half of Jacqueline Saborito's life happened near Lake Travis in September 1999. The UT student was burned in the fiery wreck. Two other people in the vehicle were killed. Reginald Steffi was driving drunk and caused the crash. He got a seven-year prison sentence. It was a very hard decision for the jury to make a decision on giving him seven years. This was a, a horrible, horrible, horrible crash, one of the worst that, that I've ever seen. Saborito would go through more than 120 surgeries. Stay in my shoes for a minute and think about how is my life and how was my life. These cases are devastating families in our community. Saborito's is just one of several cases that led Travis County prosecutors and jurors alike to take these crimes more seriously in recent years. This community has sent a message that it's not going to tolerate these kinds of cases anymore. There's no need for them. They're preventable. And any life lost in a traffic collision is one too many. Matthew Foy heads up the Vehicular Crimes Special Prosecution Unit at the District Attorney's Office. The unit handles a lot of cases involving intoxicated drivers. Their goal? Prevent future deaths and life-changing injuries on our streets. If we devote enough resources to them, take them seriously enough, we really have a good chance of making an impact in the community. Brittany Glass, KXAN News. Just last year, that specialized unit prosecuted 65 defendants for vehicular crimes, charges that range from intoxication manslaughter to criminally negligent homicide and aggravated assault serious bodily injury. Nearly 75% of those defendants received felony time or felony probation as their punishment. Reginald Steffi was a senior at Lake Travis High School when he caused that deadly crash. Steffi spent seven years in prison and was released in 2008. He was part of TxDOT's public awareness campaign while he was behind bars. I went from a football field on Friday to a prison cell on Sunday. That quick. That quick. Through the choices I made on one, one Saturday. In that public service announcement, he spoke about life in prison to bring awareness to the consequences of a drunk driving conviction.